We are back at Bloodstock Festival with Van Dead. How you doing, guys? Doing quite, doing quite well. Doing quite well. Today was not only your first time at Bloodstock, but it was your very, very first UK performance, I believe. And we, oh yeah, how were you like mentally? You know, did it just kind of happen so fast for you, or what? I I basically took it a step at a time. Uh, my voice. Uh, for the duration of this entire tour, my voice has been decaying and breaking down, but I have been just kind of trying to take steps to like be like, all right, we're gonna get through this, and then afterward I can shut up and not have to break my voice any further. Anybody else? No? Okay. <laughs> um, there's no question that, uh, like from what I saw anyway, my own personal opinion and what I could see from everybody out front, this is uh, a very fucking serious band that are, you know, there was no fucking around when you got up there and you dropped it hard and there were people just like, and I love that because it's like, despite everyone going, ah, oh, well, you know, it's, you know, they're, blah, you know, you're sick of fucking hearing all that yeah. stuff, but it was so awesome to see you come out so unbelievably hard. Did you feel that reaction from the crowd? 100%. Yeah. Uh, like seeing everybody's faces and seeing like everybody actually like bobbing their heads to what way they're playing. Yeah. Not even like they didn't even have to move. Just the fact that they were like listening to us and actually paying attention to us playing. Yeah. Rather than like, oh, this is quote unquote hardcore show. Let let us just like destroy everything. Obviously, that is what we want, but we also want them to taste taste our music of course yes yeah i mean they did fucking move though they moved like motherfuckers today i think the whole goal when we go out on stuff like this is like we're gonna give you everything we have and <clears throat> just reciprocate it like they were moving they were giving us what they had they did the wall of death you know they were moshing and we're gonna leave it all out there mm -hmm. because we're gonna give you the best show we can you know there's no reason that we need to stand there and just like Oh, uh, whatever. We're going to fucking lay it out there, you know. We're going to sweat, we're going to bleed. And, yeah. one, one of the great things about when you do these festival shows is that, obviously, there's a lot of choice around the place. There's a lot of other stages. And I could see, you know, you started off and then it was like this, and then it was like this, and then it was like that. So, I mean, you know, it's like visually you can see that everything is kind of going to plan, you know what I mean? So that must have been a, a kind of a... We... I'm going to choose my words very carefully. It does not matter to, I, I feel like it does not matter to us what type of stage we play on as long as we are performing and as long as we are pulling our heart out and showing it in yeah. front of the crowd. I mean, like, this is us, this is our soul, yeah. and this is what we've done. It doesn't matter if this stage is as big as that table or if the stage is, like, as big as the world. As long as we are performing in general, yeah. that is what is most important to us. Yeah, very much so. Um, just the, like, reading and researching uh, about you guys uh, just prior to me talking to you today I you know I know the story of you literally locked yourselves away I mean I know that you were not literally locked away but you got down and you just rehearsed rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed until you had this thing like a fucking weapon and did you feel though that you had something to prove outside of you know the fact of the association with the band of you know of who who you know with Slipknot and whatnot do you feel that that was almost like a catalyst to say we're gonna fucking show these people that we can do this the only thing we have to prove to is just ourselves yeah no Perfect. one else that's it yeah very good well when we when we started the band we did lock ourselves basically away for like two two or three years. Yeah. Without playing a show. You know, most bands they'll get like one song, two songs written and just go out there and play a show, which is fine, but we were like, we wanna do this right and we're gonna do the first show the right way. Yeah. So we had like twenty five songs written by the time we played our first show. Wow. And we just you'd we'd play four or five times a week every summer, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, hang out all day. And then by the time our first show came around, it sold out and we played all original stuff, you know? So. Yeah. And just talking about sort of material and what's that, like the EP is, is 
you have the EP there, but the, the new track, uh, Dead To Me, is that an indication of, let me rephrase that question, there, there is an album coming, right? Like full, full length? No, but we do have, we do have songs. Oh, oh sorry. God. No, but we do have songs in the work that we are trying to get put out. We do not have a album per se. Right. We are still working, we are still writing, and we are still trying to find our song. I think we've got a grasp of what type of sound that we have, but we are still, we're still in the lab and we're still cooking. Okay. All right. So there's no set, look, you'll just do it when you're ready and that's it. Yeah. Excellent. So just finishing up really, um, plans for the remainder of this year into next year, is there anything completely solidified that you can share with us that we don't already know? Uh, we take a week and a half off after this tour and then yeah. we go full or East Coast in Canada with In Flames. Oh, very good, uh, okay. Fit for an Autopsy and Orbit Culture. And, and Orbit Culture. Orbit Culture, we just spoke to those guys today, uh, yeah. And then like we're hitting Louder Than Life, Aftershock, all those festivals and then uh, who knows what the rest of the year holds you know <clears throat> we have a couple possible South America shows that we're gonna hit okay uh, some of those not fest down there and then who knows you know yeah. we'll see what happens either way there's big things coming just whenever it's whenever you guys are ready to drop it that's it and that's the way it should be no pressure just do what you want to do how you do it excellent well listen thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today it's been hey, amazing to have you, you guys. so much for having us thank you it's been it's been incredible and look if you weren't here today and you didn't see van dead uh, you missed out big time there's going to be footage online just go check them out you won't be sorry man see you cheers thank you guys thank you thank you so very much